Welcome back. It is Dog Week here on PTL. So every day we're going to be featuring something special about man and woman's best friend. And I love today's feature about a local photographer using her talents to help shelter pets get adopted. Mikey Hood got to see her in action. Linda says she loves photography and started by taking pictures of her kids and then wanted to take her passion to another level. I went back to school for photography to make it official and after doing two years of classes at uh, Filmmakers, Pittsburgh Filmmakers, I opened my own studio. I can't stand the thought of you know, for want of a good picture that a dog goes homeless. She watched a story on CBS one morning about a professional photographer who took pictures of dogs waiting to be adopted. And it turns out they all found homes in less than two weeks. That gave me the idea to contact animal friends and see if they wanted to try something similar to that here. And we did. And it's been a, a good partnership for all these years. Good puppy. She learned very quickly that photographing a dog takes an entire team and a few special skills. There's treats and squeakers involved and you just kind of get what you can. <laughs> I hate it when the dogs are smarter than us. More often than not, if I say look left, I don't know why the dog will look left or they'll look over their shoulder with that typical high school senior pose. The photos that Linda captures are absolutely incredible, that they really capture how beautiful the dogs are. But even sometimes, too, we get some really fun outtakes that are even more fun to post, too. They get a lot of attention as well, and that helps to show the personality of the animals, too. And if you think you get a lot of likes on your selfies, well, now you have some competition. We also put them on our social media channels, but they get a lot of comments and interactions from social media. They are looked for every week. People sometimes will ask if we're a little bit late posting for them. Hi, how are you? Hello. Not only is this program rewarding for Linda, but it's also working. People look for the photos. People have come up to me and said they've adopted their dog because they saw the photos on Facebook. And that makes me feel so good. Oh, well, I love that. What great pictures, really. Captures the personality of the dog. When you see something like that, doesn't it make you want to do more? Do yeah. something good for something, somebody or something else? Yeah, and th oh, thanks so to cool. Linda Mitzel for what she's doing, really, to help those shelter dogs, because it makes them stand out. And I think if you're thinking about adopting an animal and you can see their personality through that picture, yeah. it really draws you in. The over the look. Yeah, it, but that was funny when yeah. they, said they do the pose. It's like they all know. The high school pose. <laughs> Animal Friends takes dogs to her every week for their glamour shots and says that her photos really do help with adoptions. So keep up the good work. Very cool. Well, something else that might help get those dogs adopted, sad puppy dog eyes. It's true, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Oh, look at that one. It turns out that a dog gives you, uh, the look that a dog gives you may be a product of evolution. Scientists believe dogs evolve the facial expression to better bond with humans. Researchers say a specific muscle allows a dog to raise its inner eyebrow, and that makes their eyes appear bigger and more infant-like. A study finds dogs use the expression to elicit a desire in humans to look after them. Hmm. Or maybe to get another treat. Yeah. I think, think so they know they have the power. Yeah. They can they can work the eyes. I, I've seen you do it. You can do it too. I can work my eyes? You have those sad, sad puppy, puppy dogs. Eyes? I've seen it before. Really? Mm -hmm. I'm so innocent. I don't know what you mean, <laughs> Heather. <laughs> well stay with us. More dog week features are coming up every day here on PTL tomorrow. A look at dogs at work, see where they visit area offices with their humans. And find out about a Pets for Vets program that's helping veterans right here in our area.